besties, welcome back to another video. Yes, we have a wedding to prepare for. My sister-in-law is getting married next month. Um, at the time that I'm filming this portion of the video. Thank you for sponsoring this portion of the but video. But seriously, the wedding is in less than five weeks. But the reason why I started filming today out of all days is because I got my dress and my shoes and I'm gonna try it on. It took a while for me to finally make the decision to purchase this dress specifically. I was gonna go for like a full black slick back look. All the inspo that I saved was like full black outfit, but this is not. So this dress is from House of CD. I'm scared. I don't know if it's gonna fit, but I'm sure I could get it tailored if not. Ready? One, two. Oh. Ta-da! So it's this olive green dress. I know it's a very unusual color, but I think it'll look good. As for the heels, I got them from Novo. So this is the heel that I went for. It's a nude with some Diamantes. Okay, let's try it. I cannot even zip this up. This is an extra small. Definitely fits in terms of length, but I think generally their sizes run smaller than usual. See, it is really cute though. I actually really like it. Um, and then I've got the shoes on. They're okay. But I really love like the silhouette of this dress. Um, and then I love the halter neck strings. And then I also love the super, super long sleeves. So I actually think I'm gonna have to return this and get a new size it's been a couple of weeks and i got the dress but yeah. the thing is um i had to get a medium because there was no size small Worst case scenario i can always just tailor it you know so the bigger the better if you can't tell i am sick and i'm just winded talking to the camera right now i actually have COVID. i feel okay it's just that like i have a shortness of breath I'm coughing a lot and it's a lot of dry cough so you can't like the cough doesn't go away and I just struggle to go to sleep because I'm coughing but other than that like I function really well I'm actually working from home so yeah I'm like so productive I need a rest that's one thing I need to learn is like take advantage of these times because I don't rest I don't stop my brain is operating I'm so productive I'm doing too much I need to just sit and watch a freaking TV show Arts of playing games as you can tell and he doesn't have COVID so I miss him because we're literally so separated and I don't feel like I've, we've had a proper conversation so anyways let's try this dress now I'm like this is way too big oh I can't wait oh my gosh yes it's definitely loose I'm gonna get it tailored I want it to cinch in like this and then I want it to cinch in more like that but I feel a lot more comfortable anyways I'll show you guys the dress once it's tailored I got my dress back from the tailor and it feels like they didn't even do anything to it. Like it's so loose. I feel like it's even more looser than before. It's weird. So I'm going to go to the shops right now and I'm going to take it to another tailor and hopefully they can do it for me in five days. Guys, this tailor was amazing. I can't even tell you. She like she gave her professional opinion. She was so good and she gave me a discount because she felt bad that the last tailor actually ruined my dress. She said that the seams were really bad. She was so good. Love them. And they're gonna get it done in two days. Girl. Anyways, now we are going thrifting. Um, there's a thrift store that looks so good. 9.40 a.m. It's so early. There's like no one out right now. If you guys aren't thrifting your blazers, then what are you doing? Because it is insanely cheap. I think I got like six blazers and the total cost of that, like this entire bag was $61. I'm now on the hunt for some jewelry for the wedding. There's this little jewelry place that I've seen here before that I want to buy from. So I'm puffed out, what the heck? <laughs> This shop, the jewelry shop, opens in 20 minutes at 11 o'clock. I'm gonna wait. Hi, can I please get a bacon in my heart? No. This place is so random and cool. I'm surrounded by metal. I 
Wait. <laughs> Shopping. I bought this little tea set earlier today. This tea is um, a Chinese tea from Tea Journal. And look how cute these little things are. It is actually so much more fun drinking tea and like sipping it from this little cup and then refilling it. I don't know why, but I'm gonna make some tea. As you can see, the sun is setting. It's got like a little nice blue orange tinge. So pretty. All right, so it's a herbal tea. The camera's gonna die. The camera is going to die. All right, so we switched cameras, um, but that's the herbal tea. I'm gonna be drinking that tea while we do some more wedding stuff. We're doing some DIY projects right now, and I wanted to show As you. As you can see, I've got this white easel. It was brown before, so it's got a layer of paint, and I'm gonna have to do another layer of paint. Um, because this is for like the wedding signs, I made a seating chart and I also made a welcome sign because you already know I'm a DIY girl. But yes, if you know me, you know I love doing like this creative stuff. You know what, there's actually so many things that I wish I could do and actually can do. I just don't have enough time to do it. I need more time in a day because I just want to do anything and everything. I want to learn new skills. I want to... Just, yeah, I don't know. I think the tea's ready. It's so cute. All right, let's try this one. I haven't tried this one before. I'm gonna be honest, it was the cheapest one because the tea was like 40 bucks. This one was $23. Mm. Very good, cheers. All right, painting time. Wait, do you wanna know the funniest thing? Um, I improvised yesterday because we didn't have a brush. Instead of a brush, I used my beauty blender. I literally took this from my makeup case and I said, look, it's time to buy a new one. I'm just gonna use this beauty blender. And that's how I painted the first coat. Um, but yes, I ended up getting a roller today so that we could just do it a lot faster because while the beauty blender was good, it was slow. So that was weird guys it's been like five days since I last filmed and in the span of five days there's so much that has happened I was in the hospital as you guys would have just seen I was in the hospital I'm okay thank god but I was in the hospital I stayed there for three days um, and I was able to get out just before the wedding and then the wedding happened and I obviously didn't film anything because it was way too hectic but so much happened I got food poisoning it was all bad it was just all bad but that's life I decided to put on the outfit so I can show you guys because obviously I didn't film anything but this was the dress um, you guys know I went to go get it tailored but look how nice it turned out these were the shoes I got I'm wearing one right now but I can't bother putting the rest on but this is the shoe I got no other color matches green to me like I think a black shoe would have been too harsh I went with old gold I got these shoes from ASOS I believe these are Virali I got them on sale and then these were the earrings I got you guys would have seen me getting them but these are the earrings this is what they look like on and then I just got these necklaces and rings just chucked a bunch on from La Visa and what else I've lost my train of thought oh and then I also had my hair that's what I was gonna say I got my hair did I recorded a bit of it, but um, it's just got more layers, you know? And it makes my hair have a lot more volume, if you can. Anyways, I'm so sorry if this video is super short. Hopefully it's not, and hopefully I can get it up on time. But, but yes, thank you for wedding prepping with me. I hope you guys have an amazing week, and I'll see you guys in the next video.